Picture yourself in a sepia-toned world, a place where imagination thrived long before CGI's dazzling spectacles graced our screens. It was a different era, a time when families gathered around a flickering television set, eyes wide with wonder, hearts brimming with anticipation. And then, one day, it happened, a burst of magic that painted our mundane lives with vibrant hues of enchantment. The year was 1954, and the magical world of Disney stepped into our living rooms like an unannounced guest, bringing with it an aura of the extraordinary. Do you recall that moment, that very first encounter? The crackle of excitement in the air, the curious tilt of your head as the screen unfolded before you. It was an invitation, a passage to a realm where dreams took form and fairy tales danced with reality. Whether you were a child transported to distant lands or an adult revisiting the twinkle in your eyes, that moment lingers like a cherished memory. The show was a symphony of color and narrative, a delightful medley of stories that tugged at heartstrings and sparked endless conversations. From Snow White's graceful poise to Dumbo's triumphant flight, each character etched their essence into our souls. And what about those enchanting hours spent spellbound by the adventures of Mickey and his friends? Oh, how they illuminated our mundane days. But let's not merely dawdle in nostalgia. There's more to this tale than meets the eye. Behind the curtains of the magical world of Disney lie intriguing fragments that weave the fabric of its history. Did you know that the show's inception was a daring venture, a visionary leap into uncharted territories of entertainment? And as the years went by, it evolved like a waltz, gracefully adapting to the changing rhythms of television culture. So, let us embark on a journey through time, exploring these hidden gems that lend depth to the magic we hold dear. These tidbits paint a fuller portrait of the enchanting show that captured our hearts, sparking our curiosity and inspiring generations to dream beyond limits. Prepare to be captivated, for the stage is set, the curtains drawn. The magical world of Disney beckons once more, inviting you to relive the wonder and uncover the secrets that add sparkle to its legacy. So, gather round, and let's begin this adventure, a voyage through time, memory, and the spellbinding world of television enchantment. Disney's enduring TV journey, a roller coaster of revivals, the magical world of Disney TV series, which first enchanted viewers in 1954, embarked on a remarkable journey across networks and formats. In the late 1960s and 1970s, NBC's unwavering loyalty made it a mainstay on the airwaves. Yet, by 1979, winds of change swept in as ratings dipped, forcing Disney's hand to reinvent its format. NBC's demand for a facelift led to a disco-infused theme song and an opulent opening sequence. The gamble paid off, securing a renewal until 1981. But the ratings pendulum barely budged. Undeterred, the series found new life under CBS, flaunting cutting-edge computer graphics in an even grander opening sequence. As the 1980s unfolded, the show endured a whirlwind. ABC and NBC became its temporary homes. The emergence of the Disney Channel cast a shadow over its network run, and by 1990, the curtain closed on its 36-season stint on network television. Yet, this wasn't the end. Resilient as ever, the show resurfaced in 1997 as the wonderful world of Disney on ABC. Its narrative arc mirrored Disney's own journey, constantly evolving, reinventing, and pushing boundaries. In the world of satire, even such an iconic show wasn't spared. Mad Magazine gave it a cheeky nod, playfully morphing it into Walt Disney Presents Disneyland. The saga of the magical world of Disney is a tale of persistence, adaptation, and an indomitable spirit. From its humble beginnings to its enduring legacy, the show navigated a maze of networks and eras, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Exotic animals under the Hollywood spotlight. That's what Ralph Helfer brought to the enchanting world of the magical world of Disney. With a menagerie of creatures at his fingertips, Helfer contributed to the show's awe-inspiring lineup of wildlife. Lions, elephants, and even chimpanzees paraded across screens, captivating audiences in the 1954 TV series. As the visionary behind the show, Walt Disney orchestrated an ingenious plan. Eager to fund his ambitious Disneyland theme park, Disney struck a deal with the budding ABC television network. In exchange for financial backing to construct the park, Disney embarked on a creative venture, 
That birthed the magical world of Disney. The captivating show featured a medley of stories, including those with Helfer's remarkable animals. As the episodes unfurled, so did the partnership between Disney and ABC. The network secured minority ownership in Disneyland, entwining their destinies. Decades later, the tide turned. The Walt Disney Company, now a powerhouse, reversed fortunes by acquiring ABC in the 1990s, a testament to the enduring legacy of that pivotal collaboration. The reverberations of the show extended beyond the small screen. Some segments crafted for the magical world of Disney found new life as shorts in global markets, igniting joy across cultures. Disney's visionary ploy not only gave birth to a legendary theme park, but also sparked a cultural phenomenon that transcended borders. And at the heart of it all was Ralph Helfer, the maestro of exotic animals, whose contributions breathed life into Disney's tales. From king of the jungle to the gentlest of giants, his creatures became stars in their own right, forever etched in the memories of those who journeyed into the magical world of Disney. In the grand tapestry of television history, 1,954 seconds the magical world of Disney stands as a testament to creative ingenuity, a financial catalyst, and a cross-continental storyteller. The show's legacy lives on, an emblem of collaboration and imagination that transformed the entertainment landscape. The magical world of Disney, a television legacy in the annals of television history, Few shows have woven themselves into the cultural fabric as seamlessly as the magical world of Disney. Premiering in 1954, this television series captured the hearts of viewers across the nation, becoming an enduring symbol of family entertainment. While its legacy is rich and varied, one notable aspect that shaped its evolution was its approach to feature-length movies. In the early years, Disney's beloved feature-length movies faced a novel challenge on the small screen. The show's format necessitated a creative solution. These cinematic tales were either meticulously edited to fit within a one-hour time frame or split into multi-part weekly installments. It wasn't until the mid-1970s that Disney Studios embraced a pivotal change, electing to air complete feature-length movies in a single evening, a departure from the episodic norm. This marked a milestone for the show, mirroring the typical presentation of movies on network television and underlining the studio's dedication to innovation. However, as time marched on, even a beloved institution like the magical world of Disney faced the inevitable winds of change. The decision to conclude the show was complex, influenced by declining ratings, but propelled further by strategic considerations. Notably, the rise of the Disney Channel on cable television in the same period factored into the equation. Studio executives grappled with the notion of potential competition between the two platforms. A decision was made, and while the show bid farewell to its weekly prime time slot, it left behind a legacy of wholesome entertainment that endures in the hearts of its audience. The magical world of Disney remains a testament to television's ability to captivate generations, defying time and technological shifts. Its five different titles and its appearance on all three major television networks are records etched into its illustrious history. In 2005, it still held the distinction of being the longest-running weekly primetime network show, an achievement that withstood the test of time. While Hallmark Hall of Fame boasts a longer run, it's worth noting that it transformed into a less frequent format over four decades ago. In the realm of television history, the magical world of Disney stands as an exemplar of innovation, adaptation, and captivating storytelling. Its journey from edited features to complete movie nights, its responses to changing landscapes, and its status as a record holder remind us that some magic never truly fades away. Walt Disney's last opening comments graced the airwaves during the broadcast of A Salute to Alaska in April 1967, a poignant moment arriving five months after his passing. The mastermind behind the beloved 1954 TV series The Magical World of Disney, Disney's posthumous address captured his enduring spirit. While the show transitioned from Disneyland from 1954 to 1960, airing on the predominantly black and white broadcast realm of ABC, its global influence couldn't be contained within the small screen. 
Notably, certain extensive episodes took flight as theatrical releases overseas, expanding the enchantment beyond boundaries. The series, a cornerstone of American television, continues to evoke nostalgia and spark the imagination of generations. Now, as we journey back in time through the lens of this iconic show, the remarkable legacy of the magical world of Disney remains vivid, a testament to the power of storytelling. Discovering its origin and evolution, we find ourselves transported, a bit of Disney magic forever etched in our hearts. All of the ABC aired episodes of the 1954 TV series The Magical World of Disney were captured in vibrant color, an unusual choice considering ABC's monochromatic broadcasts until the mid-1960s. The show, titled Disneyland during its ABC run, featured weekly subcategories such as Fantasyland, Frontierland, Adventureland, and Tomorrowland. However, upon its shift to NBC in 1961, these subcategories were abandoned. Notably, many ABC episodes were broadcast on NBC remained in color, defying the prevailing black and white norm. This colorful twist persisted through Disney Channel airings, theatrical releases, and home video releases. The juxtaposition of the show's vivid hues with the grayscale broadcasting of its time lent it a truly enchanting aura, forever etching the magical world of Disney into the annals of television history. As we wrap up this enchanting journey through the captivating corridors of the magical world of Disney, I'm reminded of how this timeless series has woven its magic into the tapestry of our lives. With each episode, it carved a portal to a world where dreams knew no limits, where talking animals became confidantes, and where castles held more secrets than meets the eye. But this isn't just about the stories on the screen, it's about the stories in your heart. The late night viewings with family, the cozy weekends lost in wonder, and the friendships forged over shared admiration for Mickey's iconic years. The magical world of Disney became not just a show, but a cherished memory that's been passed down through generations. As we stand at the crossroads of nostalgia and the present, take a moment to relive those cherished memories. Reflect on the adventures that ignited your imagination and the characters who became your companions. What did it feel like when Tinker Bell sprinkled her pixie dust? How did the tune of When You Wish Upon a Star shape your dreams? Share your treasured moments and thoughts, for they are the threads that weave the legacy of this extraordinary series. Thank you for embarking on this stroll down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are the fuel that keeps the flickering lantern of Disney's magic alive. So, let your memories sparkle like pixie dust, and let's continue to celebrate the magical world of Disney, a realm where dreams and reality danced in unison. Warmly, your name.